Ah, uh, yes, can I get it? Correct. Okay, I That's it. What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today's video is a very special video for me because today marks a very important day in the Evo turbo build process. But before we get into all that, I'm almost to 300,000 subscribers. I noticed a lot of you that are watching this video are not subscribed yet. What are you doing if you're not subscribed? There's so many awesome things coming up for this channel. The Evo turbo build is probably around 80% done. We've got so many mods coming in for the Type R, possibly getting a new shop space. It's lots of awesome things coming up. So do me a huge favor, take two seconds out of your day and hit that subscribe button down there and have some fun. But either way, the Evo turbo manifold is now done. It's on the car and the turbo is mounted as well. I wanted them to wait for me to get here uh, before they actually did it. They didn't have enough time because obviously they want to get this thing done as soon as possible. They had to go ahead and mount it so they can get measurements for the radiator as well as the intercooler and then and then start getting everything for oil lines and fuel lines and all of that stuff. But right behind me right now is the Evo and I'm about to show you guys how the turbo will be mounted, the wastegate, the manifold. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Check it out. Boom. Here it is. So the turbo sits right up front with that Voltex bumper. You'll be able to see the turbo, the wastegate, the intercooler should be massive. So the turbo will be clocked just a little bit. So we'll probably have about half of this intercooler sitting from here down to here all the way across. So this is what it looks like. That is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Like, wow. Even from this far away, the turbo just looks like being able to see that from the grill of the bumper is just gonna be insane. Like, especially on the street at shows and stuff, like, it better, it's better than I could have ever imagined. I mean, the polished look and everything is just so mint. The welds, freaking wastegate down there. So obviously there will be some changes in the positioning of the wastegate and the turbo and stuff just to be able to route the exhaust and the wastegate dump out the hood and then the turbo needs to connect to the intercooler directly. So the coolest thing about this is no one else has this, which is like my favorite part. Oh, so I don't know what happened, but I really strained my back at the gym and it is not good. So now that you guys saw the manifold, the turbo setup and the wastegate, what's left to do? So not too much, but it's very important stuff. So we still have, we still have to run the exhaust dump. We still have to run the wastegate dump. We need the radiator to come in size up that intercooler, cut it, mount it, oil lines, fuel lines, and then reroute the battery to the trunk so we have all the space. We're getting close. The hardest part was deciding on a design for the manifold, getting the manifold made, polished and welded. The hard part's done. We have mounted the turbo. That is like the biggest issue with coming up with a custom turbo is being able to fit everything, make the manifold and make it work which we have executed and Tice did an incredible job. So you can't just buy this over the shelf. Everything part by part is picked by me and enticed to make this thing come together as one. So this isn't something that you just buy off the shelf and they send you a generic manifold, no. We designed this, I helped design it. They measured it, they built it specifically just for this one car. No one else will ever have this manifold, which is something that means a lot to me. So now that I've said all of that, my Tomei exhaust and the test pipe for this Evo 8 will be for sale. It'll fit an Evo 8 or 9. So if you're interested in a pretty much brand new Tomei exhaust and test pipe, email me, put my email on the screen right now. And it's in the San Diego area. I wouldn't like to ship it. So if you're in San Diego, LA, hit me up and let's get this thing sold. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much, oh, I do have a question. I want to get this painted. What do you guys think? the engine cover should be painted. Should I get it red, just a different red, or silver, black? I need help deciding that, and that needs to get done pretty quickly, so leave in the comments down below what color you think I should paint the engine cover. Here's an overview of the car. 
this needs to be painted. Also, I think I'm gonna switch this out for black because I'm afraid that since it's positioned right next to the turbo and the manifold, it's gonna get really, really hot and then the, then the red will start fading and turn into like pink or white or whatever. I don't want that, so I'm gonna do black, I think, but either way, it's gonna look insane. Since the bumper's right here, I wanna go ahead and mount the bumper up just so you guys can see what it looks like with the bumper on there and the turbo and everything. I think that'll look really cool. Okay, so generically, this is bumper obviously is not fully on, but this is how the turbo will look up front. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is wild. So, just imagine the turbo with the intercooler that goes all the way down, like... I cannot believe that this is my car. Look at this. Holy crap, bro. Slowly but surely, this thing is coming together and it's going to be insane. Alright guys, that's the update on the Evo that I have for you guys. Unfortunately, like I said, they couldn't wait for me to put this on. I wish they could have. They do a lot of the work primarily at nighttime. Uh, Jonathan, I think, comes in around five every other week, so a lot of the work gets done when he comes on his late nights. So I unfortunately can't be here at that time just because number one, the shop's about two hours away from me. Then you have to add in traffic, and then number two, I have a lot of business stuff that I'm working on right now because the next Legends drop is June 10th, which is going to be amazing to blow all of your minds. Some of my best designs yet, so I'm very excited on that. But all right. Before traffic hits, let's head home and do this Q&A. Goodbye, this is amazing, nice work. Okay guys, we finally just made it home. It's been a long day, but when I got home, I actually had this package waiting for me at my door. Pretty large package, and I think I know exactly what this is. We're gonna do a little unboxing before we get into the whole Evo Q&A, so enjoy this unboxing. Okay, after a ton of struggle getting this out of the packaging, we finally know exactly what was in that package. So we have three different support bars. You have your front upper support bar, which will go in the engine bay. You have your lower front support bar, and then you also have the middle lower support bar. So I'm not gonna take these out of the packaging just yet because I don't wanna, you know, like this has hardware and I don't wanna scuff these up before I actually put them on the car. But uh, hopefully when I get some time to put these on the car, it'll make a huge difference in the handling and keeping this car super stiff uh, while driving you know, on the track or even on the street and stuff. So hopefully there's a huge difference. Huge thank you to Ultra Racing for sending this out. I'm super pumped to actually put this on the car. All this being said, uh, let's go ahead and throw this in the Type R. Let's do the Evo Q&A. Alright guys, so now that we've got everything done, I posted up on Instagram and Twitter that I was doing a Q&A on the Evo. So let's read some of these off of Instagram real fast and then we'll move to Twitter. I'm not going to do too many, but let's just see. So, timeline on the Evo's return. So, once the intercooler and the radiator come in, which will be within the week, everything will start moving fast. So I plan to have this Evo done by Weekfest San Jose, which is... July 1st weekend. I'm not 100% on that. You'll have to double check on me, but the Evo's return will be at Weekfest San Jose, so be on the lookout for that. How much horsepower am I gonna be pushing on the Evo? The Evo is gonna stay around 450 horsepower. You gotta remember it's on a stock block. Nothing is built on the motor besides, you know, the whole turbo build. So I don't wanna push too much. The turbo is actually rated to hold 700 horsepower, but of course, I'm not gonna push that much. We'll keep it around 450. It has a built differential as well as a built transfer case, so I won't have to worry too much about any of that. But if the motor decides to go, we'll build the motor and then push as much power as we possibly can after the motor build. So for now, 400 to 450 horsepower. Why not turn the Evo into a track car and also show car? 
that's exactly what I'll be doing. I feel like the Evo's gonna be so good in so many aspects that why just beat it and use it as a track car when I can have it for both. So I plan to have a set of show wheels and a set of track wheels and kind of uh, adjust suspension accordingly to whatever event that I'm attending. So uh, you guys will see the Evo at a lot of shows as well as some track videos of the Evo. But you gotta remember, I also have the Type R as well and the Type R is a beast on the track. So there'll be a lot of Type R and Evo track days, which will be cool. What was my inspiration for the Evo build? I told you guys this when I first got the car, but this will be my last question. Uh, the inspiration for the Evo build was actually I first fell in love with the Evo when Han gave Sean the Evo in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. And I, you know, they did that whole like really cool scene where they did the walk around of the car and then him drifting it. And it's such a fun car. It was such a cool car in that movie. And it really, I had no idea what an Evo was when I was that young, but that really opened my eyes to that car. And I love the, the body style, how small it was. It was very compact and very raw. Inspiration was Fast and Furious whenever, or whenever Han gave Sean the car. That was like probably the coolest moment for me uh, seeing Evo. Either way, that's gonna be it for this video. Bear with me, only a couple more weeks until that thing starts and is running and it's going to be it's going to be one of the craziest Evos out there, I promise you that. So, very excited. Um, also, a lot of the Type R parts should be rolling in now, so get pumped for that. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are so close to 300k, and there's so many awesome things that's coming up for this channel. Alright guys, I will see you in the next vlog. Peace out.